to Eastmark High School Student Orientation presented by Link Crew. Good morning Firebirds, my name is Paul Guignon and I'm the proud principal here at Eastmark High School. I'm so excited for you to get back uh, to our school and to just enjoy the Firebird culture that we're creating here at Eastmark High. Um, I work with the English and math teams here at Eastmark as well as the classified staff and I just can't wait uh, to see our students here on campus uh, beginning hopefully on August 17th. Go Firebirds! Good morning Firebirds, my name is Craig Lushner. I'm your proud athletic director and assistant principal here at Eastmark. Um, I oversee the special education department and the PE department and all the sports at both the junior high and high school level. Um, looking forward to a great year. We can't wait to have you back on campus Firebirds. Good morning Firebirds, my name is Derek Peterson. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Eastmark. I'm new and uh, I'm excited to be part of the, the uh, Eastmark Firebird family. Um, I will be uh, in charge of going over into the junior high area and also uh, part of the uh, high school and so again I'm excited to be here and look forward to the opportunities that come. Over there is where you would buy your food and then you can sit over here in these booths or enjoy the sun outside. This is the learning stairs um, where we have um, guest speakers and theater productions. Welcome to the College and Career Center. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Ms. Schmall and I'm the College and Career Specialist. If you're looking for options for post high school, this is a great place to start. This is the upstairs classroom building where you'll find all of your upstairs classes. Right here is the computer science and engineering classroom, and right over there is the marketing classroom, and here are some of the students. the MASH and FAME room and all the other downstairs classrooms. This is the bookstore where you can turn in your um, achievements to get all kinds of little goodies. And then if you'll walk back here with me, the nurse's office is right through here. This is the administration's office. If you need help with athletics or attendance, you can come here. Follow me. Hi. Hi. Come along to the junior high building. downstairs junior high hallway and this is one of the learning labs downstairs. This is the upstairs junior high building. where we have sports games, pep assemblies, and dance performances. And it's very fun in here, as you can tell. We love our pep assemblies here. This is the band room where we 
music, theater, and choir perform and practice. And to my right is the weights room. Good morning. This is Craig Lushner, your athletic director. I am going to walk you through our digital rotation for athletics. Uh, first of all, welcome. Welcome back. And welcome to all those who are new with us. Uh, we had a very uh, exciting first year last year, and this year is going to be our first year with varsity. Again, I am your athletic director. Hi, down here in the corner of the screen, Mr. Lushner. And uh, I'm going to walk you through some documents here. I want you to take uh, as many notes as you can, pay close attention. Um, I would definitely say it would be worth um, maybe just taking a, a snapshot with your phone if you need to, uh, but let's get into it. So first things first, you need to know who is on your team. Um, your athletics department um, is myself, my assistant, Ms. Horton, uh, our equipment manager, Mr. Scott, um, and our two athletic trainers, Ms. Mercer, Katie, um, she was with us last year, you may know her, and we've brought on a second, Molly Gordon, and our bookstore manager, Jocelyn Bray, she'll be taking all of your payments for um, paying for sports and whatnot. Um, grab your phone, take a snapshot here, you can always come back to this. Um, this is the ways that you can stay connected to Eastmark Athletics. Um, if you are looking for some swag, click the link there for the side, sideline store. Um, you can find that on our um, our athletic website, goeastmark.com. We got our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everything is right there for the school and the athletic program. Start with junior high athletics. Uh, there's four different seasons. You can play in as many of those as you'd like. Um, they do not overlap sports, so it's seventy dollars uh, for each respective season. Um, quarter one originally would have started on July 27th, but are now tentatively set for August 17th due to COVID and the closure and the pushback. Uh, that's volleyball, baseball, football, palm and cheer. Quarter two, we anticipate the start date October 13th for boys basketball, softball, and co-ed cross country. Quarter three, we anticipate beginning January 5th for boys soccer, girls basketball, and co-ed wrestling. And quarter four for boys volleyball, girls soccer, co-ed track and field, anticipating the start after March 23rd. So as you know, um, or have figured out here, basically after fall break, next season begins after winter break and after spring break, those are the respective starts of the seasons. Palm and Cheer is a three quarter commitment. Um, that is a challenging one if you wanna do both. Um, it's hard to be volleyball and cheerleading, but um, you can work that out with your coaches. We anticipate having tennis quarter two and golf quarter four, that depends on interest. It's not an EBC sport. EVC is the East Valley Conference that we play in in our junior high. And uh, if there's enough interest, we will make a team. Eligibility, you have to have a 65% or higher in all of your classes to remain eligible. Otherwise, you'll fall on the weekly ineligibility list. Um, high school, $100 per season. We've got fall, winter, spring. Um, fall, football, spirit line, cross country, golf, swim, dive, girls, volleyball, winter, basketball, soccer, wrestling, and spring, baseball, softball, tennis, track and field, beach volleyball, and boys volleyball. Um, as you can see, we have a pushed back tentative start date for the fall, and then November 2nd and February 5th for winter and spring. Same rule for eligibility. You have to have a 65 or higher in all of your classes um, to be um, eligible. Otherwise, you will have to sit out for at least one week. Um, you can get a pass. $30 will get you into all games, so you can get a student pass in the bookstore for Ms. Bragg. Then we also have offerings for family passes, up to two people, five people, or more than five people. We charge for football, volleyball, soccer, basketball, and wrestling. Uh, this doesn't count postseason sports. Those passes go to the AIA. All right, finishing up the rest of your athletics rotation here, the most important step uh, in signing up for sports is to actually do so. We use a an online platform called registermyathlete.com. This is where you're gonna log in, sign up for your sports, upload your physical and your brain book. Now, a sports physical has to be done annually after March 1st, every year. Um, this year, we're honoring last year's exam because of COVID closures and other reasons. I will send information home to your parents about this. Um, if you are needing the form, if you don't know how to access the form, Go right here to goeastmark.com, 
you're going to select register my athlete under the more tab and you'll be able to get directions uh, very very clear there's about 10 to 12 steps um, it's a it's a very easy process but you have to be very specific in doing so so um, you need to get that physical uploaded and the other component other than selecting the sport you wish to participate in and register with your information and input your insurance is to access the uh, brain book course now if you did the brain book at any point from seventh grade through eleventh grade um, all you have to do is download the certificate and upload it if it's if it did not carry over um, you don't have to retake the course again do not retake brain book once you've done it once it's good we do have to have the certificate uploaded um, and it, we're asking register my athlete to roll that document and if it doesn't it's very easy to access and re-download and uh, re-upload to our site so that's um, registermyathlete.com um, again go to goeastmark.com to get all the directions under the more tab and finally here's your head coaches directory I want you guys to take a picture of this uh, these are the varsity head coaches uh, they work with the junior high teams, the freshman and JV teams as well. Familiarize yourself with these people. Um, feel free to reach out via email um, and get started with uh, asking questions about when, when and where um, tryouts will be. Um, as we know, as the coronavirus uh, pandemic continues to um, have its effect on Arizona, our, our season tryout and start dates are tentative, and we're hoping that those can get firmed up sooner than later. Um, right now with the tentative start of August 17th for fall in quarter one. And then uh, we're hoping to get full seasons in and as many games as we can. So welcome to Eastmark Firebirds, to all of our new students. Um, welcome aboard to all of our existing students. You know, please help uh, guide these new ones down the, the right road. Um, you know, we believe in leadership. We believe in doing the right things, but we also believe in competing at a high level um, sharing the wealth of our knowledge, working hard, um, and then ultimately having a great experience. So go birds. Hello, Eastmark Firebirds. I am Mr. Peterson, assistant principal at Eastmark High School. I hope you're excited to be here. Today, I will be sharing the Eastmark High School student code of conduct. The Eastmark High School mission statement says that Eastmark High School challenges all to engage in a respectful, collaborative, and innovative culture to achieve limitless possibilities. The Eastmark High School vision statement says, we will create a community of lifelong, future-focused learners who lead through respect, collaboration, and innovation. We are committed to bringing the highest quality of education to our students while fostering positive habits and behaviors at all times. The code of conduct and behaviors for students are expected at all times. Be kind. Speak positively to, about others. Volunteer. Celebrate accomplishments. Keep objects and hands to yourself. Be respectful, use appropriate language, keep campus clean, and follow classroom rules. Show integrity, respect different perspectives, make healthy choices, see something, say something, report unacceptable and or suspicious behavior to an adult staff member immediately. This behavior is to be demonstrated in all areas on campus, including but not limited to the learning areas of the classroom, library, and study areas, the common areas of the cafeteria, gym, library, and study areas, and the private and community areas of the restroom, locker rooms, nurse's office, and the stadium. Eastmark High School focuses on positive reinforcement for student behaviors when demonstrated campus wide. This is known as PBIS, or Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. Your teachers will cover, cover the details the first week of class. Students have the opportunity to receive rewards for their positive behavior and leadership skills. Students will be able to earn fire cards 
and there will be drawings on a consistent basis. Appropriate steps will be taken as far as discipline is concerned. There are still consequences for poor behavior and negative choices. There are steps for different offenses, minor versus major. There are level of consequences that are still determined by the offense and teacher tools and resources in class to help manage and encourage the positive behaviors. Eastmark High School is a one-to-one -one campus, meaning that each student will have his or her, or her own Chromebook or laptop. Chromebooks are to be used for educational purposes only. The appropriate use agreement when laptops are issued is signed. The EHS Code of Conduct applies to the use of technology at all times. Students will not use their Chromebooks to access their social media accounts. Students will not use their technology to be academically dishonest. Students will not allow the technology provided to them to become a distraction from their learning. Rather, technology should enhance their learning. And students will be responsible for taking care of their own Chromebooks. Don't throw hit, slam, bend, or treat your Chromebooks in a rough manner. Don't touch other students' Chromebooks, and consequences will be enforced for any misuse or abuse of technology. Consistent attendance is a must for student success. A student is considered absent from class if he or she is more than 10 minutes late. An excused absence is called in by a parent or a guardian. An unexcused absence is not excused by a parent or a guardian, and you can find more information on what is an excused or unexcused absence in the student handbook. Truancy is five days of unexcused absences. Students with excessive truancy may be issued citations by Maricopa County. A student who re reaches 10 absences, excused or unexcused, during a semester may lose credit in the class or classes in which the 10 days are recorded. Tardies. Students are considered tardy if they are not in class at the end of the final bell that signals the beginning of class. After three tardies, there will be disciplinary actions taken by the teacher, such as a fall phone call home, conference, or detention. More than three tardies will result in further disciplinary action, such as a referral to the administration. Parents may excuse, may excuse first hour tardies only. It is the student's responsibility to obtain any and all makeup work for days absent. For an excused absence, students will be allowed the number of days absent plus one day to make up assignments without penalty. Work that was assigned prior to an absence will be due upon return to class. Students may turn in late work or makeup work through the end of the unit assessment only. For an unexcused absence, students are accountable for all work missed. Students can turn in late work or missed work for a maximum of 50% credit. Students may turn in late work or makeup work through the end of the unit when the assessment is taken. The dress code. Clothing that is disruptive or that detracts from the educational process or is destructive to school property is inappropriate. This includes, but is not limited to, any clothing exposed in midriff, cleavage, chest, etc gang-affiliated attire, vulgar or suggestive attire, short shorts, mini skirts, spaghetti straps or tube tops, undergarments should not be visible, any accessories that could be harmful or threatening to others. Consequences will be enforced if the dress code is broken. Make sure you see the handbook for specific details. If you're riding the bus, please observe the same code of conduct guidelines as for the classroom. Be courteous, 
no yelling, screaming, or profane language, be at the pickup location on time, no running, pushing, or shoving on or off the bus, do not eat or drink on the bus, water bottles used appropriately are allowed, remain seated while the doors of the bus are closed, do not vandalize the bus, skateboards, longboards, and scooters are not allowed on the bus. The driver or aide is authorized to assign seats. Follow the direction of the driver or aide at all times. Stay sitting in your seat facing forward. Keep all body parts and objects inside the bus and to yourself. Do not throw items in or out of the bus. No glass bottles, pets, insects, reptiles, weapons, chemicals, or drugs, alcohol, tobacco, vapes, or any other paraphernalia are allowed on the bus. Some helpful, some helpful information that is important to you is that students will be issued temporary Eastmark High School student ID cards on the first day of school. Students must carry these at all times and be prepared to show them to any Eastmark High School staff member if requested. These are temporary cards and they will become void after school picture day. After school picture day, students must wear their official EHS student ID cards on a lanyard at all times. You may wear them on the Eastmark High School Firebirds lanyard if you have one or use a lanyard of your own. Students need passes from teachers be excused from class for any reason. Students should sign out or sign in via their teacher's logbook and take the classroom pass. Students who drive need a special office issued pass to leave campus if necessary. Parent or guardians must contact the East Mark High School attendance clerk before a student may leave campus. There is a $75 parking pass fee. Use of the campus facilities is a privilege. Abuse them and you will lose them. Eastmark High School is a closed campus. This means students must remain on campus during the entire school day. Students may not leave campus for lunch. Only authorized parents or guardians may check a student out of school. No exceptions. All visitors must check in through the front office and there are no exceptions. There is a device protection plan for Chromebooks. Details can be found in the handbook. Spirit days are on Friday. Make sure to wear your Firebird colors and gear. Go Firebirds. Ask questions when you're confused and don't forget to email your teachers. Take good notes. Use your planner for important dates and keep on top of your planner. Make sure to keep everything together and stay organized. Do what you need to do. Don't stress, take a break, go outside and breathe. Make friends in your classes and participate in discussions. Don't be afraid to take action, join clubs. Be yourself and surround yourself with positivity. Turn things in on time. And act that the due date is the next day. Always bring your Chromebook charger and wear your ID. Always respect your teachers and classmates. Be a role model for younger students. And act appropriately for your age. Stay motivated to do your best. Thank you for joining us for student orientation. And we can't wait for you to be here. Yeah! Rising up, taking flight.